Outlaw Law is brought to you by Whitaker and Hamer, attorneys and counselors at law. Your law firm for life. Welcome into the Outlaw Lawyer. Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer. Whitaker and Hamer Law Firm, the power behind the program. They have offices in Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuquay, Verena, and Gastonia. They're the managing partners of the firm, and they are practicing attorneys here in North Carolina. I'm Morgan Patrick, consumer advocate. We're going to get into the legal topics, and there's a hot story right now. Everybody's talking about it again, the school shooting in Texas. We'll talk about the Second Amendment. Uh, That is coming up on the program. If you've got a legal situation that you are facing and you've got questions, I have a number for you, 800 659-1186. That's 800-659-1186. You can also email your questions to the Outlaw Lawyer, questions at theoutlawlawyer.com. Again, when you call the number, 800-659-1186, just leave your contact information, briefly what the call's about, and an attorney with Whitaker and Hamer will be in touch. And as always, check out the website, theoutlawlawyer.com. Gentlemen, uh, we've got uh, just a sad, sad story to start off with. Yeah, uh, Morgan, you know, we always get together uh, Wednesday mornings. That's when we're in the studio or, or remoting in or, or, or however we end up recording. And depending on how you listen to us, you might be listening to us uh, as a podcast download, you know, Thursday or Friday or on the radio Saturday or, or Sunday. So we're always getting together on Wednesday morning. And of course, Tuesday, uh, we had the shooting there in Texas, the school shooting. Uh, so that was just yesterday afternoon. So we've we've been reading about that, just like everybody else is, and, and watching everybody uh, comment on that. But obviously, no matter what side of the political spectrum you you sit on, or or what you feel about the Second Amendment, obviously a tragedy and um, not something you not something you want to see. That that's right, Josh. It's super somber, man. We usually come in and try to keep it pretty light when we start off, and uh, you know, talk about talk about a lot of uh kind of irrelevant things and, and and get the show started but it's it's tough to do that man in light of something like this and it's like you said it's just there's few things that uh that really hit you as hard as something like this does and it's just it's 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 just incredibly unfortunate well just to give the background uh, Uvalde Texas elementary school there uh, right now the death toll is 19 children uh, two adults, uh, the gunman, uh, 18-year-old Salvador Ramos, and he was a high school student um, nearby, and uh, apparently there was an, an incident with his grandmother, shot his grandmother. His grandmother is in critical condition. Uh, that's that's the latest, uh, but it, it kind of hit the sports world. Uh, head coach for the Golden State Warriors, they are in Texas. Steve Kerr's the head coach for the Warriors. They are in Texas. Uh, his father, back in 1984, uh, was killed by Islamic extremists uh, when Kerr was 18. Uh, he has been outspoken before. Uh, they had media availability uh, yesterday afternoon before their game. Uh, again, this is Coach Kerr. Um, I'm not going to talk about basketball. Nothing's uh, happened with our team in the last six hours. We're going to start the same way tonight. Um, Any basketball questions uh, don't matter. Um, Since we left shoot around, 14 children were killed 400 miles from here. And a a teacher. And in the last 10 days, we've had elderly black people killed in a supermarket in Buffalo. We've had Asian churchgoers killed in Southern California. And now we have children murdered at school when are we going to do something i'm tired i'm i'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to to the devastated families that are out there i'm so tired of the excuse me i'm sorry i'm tired of the moments of silence enough there's 50 senators right now who refuse to vote on H.R. 8, which is a background check rule that the House passed a couple years ago. It's been sitting there for two years. And there's a reason they won't vote on it, to hold on to power. So I ask you, Mitch McConnell, I ask all of you senators who refuse to do anything about the violence and school shootings and supermarket shootings, I ask you, are you going to put your own desire for power ahead of the lives of our children and our elderly and our churchgoers 
because that's what it looks like. It's what we do every week. So I'm fed up. I've had enough. We're going to play the game tonight. But I want every person here, every person listening to this, to think about your own child or grandchild or mother or father or sister or brother. How would you feel if this happened to you today? We can't get numb to this. We can't sit here and just read about it and go, well, let's have a moment of silence. Yeah, go Dubs, you know. Come on, Mavs, let's go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go play a basketball game. And, the, and 50 senators in Washington are going to hold us hostage. Do you realize that 90% of Americans, regardless of political party, want background check, universal background check? 90% of us, we are being held hostage by 50 senators in Washington who refuse to even put it to a vote, despite what we, the American people, want. They won't vote on it because they want to hold on to their own power. It's pathetic. I've had enough. All right, that's Steve Kerr, head coach Golden State Warriors, yesterday before their game against the Dallas Mavs. Again, they were in the state of Texas. Um, and at the time of that press conference, there were 14 uh, fatalities uh, at the elementary school. There are now 19, and there are two adults. Um, again, the shooter's grandmother is in critical condition. Uh, he shot her before he went to uh, went to the school. So... And there's a background for, for Coach Kerr. Obviously, his father was uh, basically assassinated by Islamic extremists in 1984 when he was 18 years old. He's obviously very emotional about it. But that, that clip right there has been played everywhere. And, um, yeah, it's, everybody's talking about it, guys, so I know you want to chime in. Yeah, I think I think today, uh, you know, we have a little we have a little script. We have some materials that we always put together before we sit down and 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 talk. And and we're going to push some of that aside. I think we're going to just kind of review the Second Amendment and just in general uh, talk about the legislation. You know, a lot of the news outlets are talking about stalled legislation um, in the in the Senate for for some kind of for background checks and, and things like that. And. And always a slippery slope, and it's a horrible, it's a horrible situation. You know, uh, I think uh, Steve Carr has, has made similar. He's one of those sports uh, sports guys who who like to leave the realm of sports and and talk about what's going on in the news. And obviously, he's got a lot of personal reasons to be emotional about it. But you know, anytime something like this happens, you know, I think the the folks who who are able to look at it, you know, like what well, this has happened you know, you know, what do we need to do? We have a, we have a, we have a habit in this country of getting really outraged about something. And then, you know, five days later, we'll be outraged about something else. And, and the cycle just keeps, keeps moving. And sometimes we get some stuff done and sometimes we don't, but, um, the, the second amendment's always going to be, uh, uh, you know, kind of a, an area where you have people on both sides. Yeah, that's true. You do have people on both sides. You've got passionate people on both sides of the issue. Uh, but I think, I think that if there's if there's one thing that everybody can agree on, and you know, there's so much disparity between what people believe, and there's you know, like we said, the the passionate nature of people on both sides that can't be discounted or denied. But I think we can all agree, no matter what side of this issue that you fall on, that. You know these these repeated mass shootings and these tragedies that continually keep occurring are uh, just incredibly unfortunate things that something needs to be done to prevent from occurring and and what that measure needs to be how exactly we go about uh, doing that I think that that's where the disagreement comes into play but I think anybody any reasonable person is gonna gonna have the opinion that. There needs to be something done because the the frequency with which this occurs, uh, these things taking place, it's like you said, like we we have the tendency to get real fired up about something and then kind of move on to the next thing. And unfortunately, a lot of folks, I think, kind of we see this happen so much and it's and it's almost unfathomable to even think about how hard this would affect you if it was you that was actually personally impacted by this situation, if it was one of your kids, if it was one of your family members. Um but it, you almost get desensitized, I think, a lot of folks, just because we've seen it so much. And that's a, it's incredible to think about that because 
how could could you get desensitized to something like this? But we see it happens so much. Um, but but then you listen to, to someone like Steve Kerr going and and how much passion he's got. That's really that's really how we all should feel as far as the passion we have for you know doing something to prevent this from occurring. Um, and it's just crazy, man, because it doesn't seem like there's ever any kind any kind of appreciable change that occurs in the wake of these events. Well, you know, it's it's interesting right now. Uh, again, we're 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 talking Wednesday morning, so we don't know a whole lot about uh, the shooter. Uh, I think some, I think they found his social media accounts. I think he was a high school student who didn't graduate, who, uh, you know, had some, obviously had some, some issues. I don't know about diagnosed or or whatever, but you know, there's a lot of raw emotion here, but I think it's always important to look at, okay, well, what, assuming we have a Senate that's not stalemate, right? Assuming we have uh, a way to address this, what should, what would have stopped this? Right. I always look at a situation, you know, because we have a we have a tendency when something like something terrible like this happens to kind of do this big picture. And you got people on one side who want to repeal the Second Amendment and people on the other side who don't want to do anything. And uh, so I always look at like, hey, this this situation that happened was horrible. What could have what could be done to have prevented this uh, specifically? And then I think that's always a good guide. Um, you know, I think it's Sandy Hook. The shooter had some had some mental uh, you know, mental issue issues, but it was a legally acquired gun. And, and you know, I don't think people looked enough at like, what would have prevented this guy from doing this at this time? And I think that's what people have to do is, is instead of looking at the big picture, which is always not helpful. A lot of people get stalled out is look at smaller things that would have prevented this kind of thing. But I know we're up against a break. Um, after the break, I, I thought it'd be good to look back at the second amendment, just generally talk about uh, gun laws here in the uh, in the U.S. of A. The outlaw lawyers, Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer. It's a heavy topic to start off the show. Again, the shooting in Texas, Uvalde, Texas. Nineteen children uh, now confirmed dead. Two adults also um, deceased. Uh, gunman is eighteen-year-old uh, Salvador uh, Ramos from that area. High school student, um, obviously. Um, disgruntled and uh, we're finding out uh, as more information as the show is being taped in the midweek and by the weekend we'll have more uh, for you there as well but the outlaw lawyers it's always legalese we talk about the different issues and this is a big one it's a heavy one uh, stay with us we're going to talk about the second amendment if you've got a situation that you are dealing with and you need some legal advice i've got a phone number for you 800-659-1186 that's 800-659-1186 just leave your contact information briefly what the call's about and an attorney with whitaker and hamer will be in touch and you can always email your questions to the program and we'll answer those on future broadcasts questions at theoutlawlawyer.com and the website check it out theoutlawlawyer.com we're back right after this